I'm very happy to hear that the medical students are thinking about nutrition in a very proactive way. Yesterday I tried to make contact with an organization called Nutri Tank. Uh, I believe it's a national um, effort to make uh, the uh, clinicians um, be more uh, wise about using nutrition in a positive proactive way rather than uh, making it mean as if nutrition in patients and population is all about uh, calorie balance and macro balance and all the dietitian do is advise them about whether their diet is up to the mark or not. And very few dietitians are um, knowledgeable enough to advise about positive nutrition. I know they will tell you about FODMAP diet, low fiber diet, diet in kidney disease, diet in liver disease, but some of these guidelines are really, really ancient and they don't take into account of the fantastic new advances that is happening and happened in field of nutrition, particularly the psychobiotics, the microbiome, the new concept of uh, metabolic diseases, fructose switch, insulin resistance, none of this. Uh, most nutrition experts and dietitians are even vaguely aware of and I have tried to speak to them, they are so overworked with the workload, there is no bandwidth uh, to kind of uh, welcome all this new concept to even try to um, look into this as a possibility. So it's just blindly following guidelines. That's what has caused the, that's hampered the growth of medical science, to be honest. And we have resorted to just disease care rather than health care. So what I normally do for my nutrition and my family's nutrition, so whenever I get out of the house because I spend long days in hospital, so I will have my food. Why do I carry my food? Because sometimes things are so busy, I don't even have time to go to the canteen, right? For hot food or cold food or whatever. Uh, and not only that, that's a delayed lunch. You're feeling hungry, you're feeling, you know, hangry, angry, hungry. Then you snap at people and stuff. So here I just take 15 minutes, I can top up. And what do I carry in that bag? Uh, I carry this and this. So this is my craving, the snacks. The thing is when you crave to do something like a munch something and crunch something, unless you're carrying it, you're gonna end up buying some bad crunchy munchy thing. So today I have chosen peanuts, cashew nuts, and some spiricha. It's a Thai style, uh, you, you know how to spiricha. Now sometimes, you know, it's good to uh, Google. Google is a very good thing. Okay, so find out what is spiricha. That's a spelling. Anyway, oh my alarm is going off. Hold on a second, let me switch it up. So, what is this? This is just a it's currently 6 vegetable medley. Uh, I cooked with, um, I believe I couldn't find any avocado oil, so I have used sesame oil. And vegetables on its own is tasteless, so we have to spice it up. I use both Indian and European spices and no, I haven't put all of this, but look at this. Mint, dill, chives, sedge, tarragon, marjoram, oregano. And this whole thing is a garlic root. I call garlic pepper, garlic salt, garlic flakes. This is rosemary. I couldn't find it in the, this brand. And this is piri piri. That's not even European, I think. Although piri piri chicken, I first uh, came to know in Nando's, but uh, apparently this might not be European. Let's see. Uh, so all I did is I just sprinkled, uh, I think I used tarragon, chives, and marjoram, and garlic flakes, and garlic salt. And it's extremely delicious. Now there's no protein in it in that sense. And today I'm not feeling the urge to put any protein in it, but sometimes I'll put some fish, sometimes egg, sometimes chicken. And drinks, very, very, very important because we are all very dehydrated as a population. Uh, when you wake up, 
drink at least I'll show you what is my so this is my bedside water bottle so this is always with me when I'm sleeping yeah uh, and the first thing I will do switch off the alarm after switching off the alarm I'll drink 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 at least three quarters sometimes the whole bottle of it so I will not carry this though uh, with me this is my ritualistic night bottle but I carry this so this is what is going to go with this and not only that this is my carrying um, beverage bottle it's only 200 ml it's a tiny one scribbled by my daughter when she was tiny and this is my car so when I get out of the house I'll have coffee in the car I'll sip the coffee and I'll listen to podcast and uh, my normal go-to coffees are pot coffees uh, because um, you know the instant coffee I don't think it is a proper coffee it saves time but it is kind of more artificial this is more natural and uh, this is although not coffee this is chococino and do you know the benefit of cocoa cocoa powder the chocolates okay that's another day so this chococino americano is my normal go-to it's a pure caffeine and this is what I give to my guest who comes to my office. Uh, now, this is probably the best coffee. If it's freshly ground, it's Italian stove top. You put water there, coffee there, and when you heat it up, the steam comes and extract the caffeine from the ground coffee and it comes here on the top. And then you drink it. But obviously you don't carry flame with you all the time, so a bit difficult. Uh, so that's why I got a machine in my office and I got a machine over there and now this is the real deal but the problem is currently this is not working so so I'm gonna just reset into my normal coffee so drinking tea organic tea drinking caffeine caffeine is only two not after 4 p.m. whereas this can you can carry on even uh, you know late in the evening uh, and these are all caffeine free uh, but this helps uh, your craving sometimes you're actually you, your stomach is looking for something warm and some water some hydration and we mistake it for hunger which is not so if you keep on doing this like every three hours every four hours then the chance that you will not feel hungry hungry you know when you want to crave something so that's it, and that's my small Nutri talk, uh, Nutri tank talk. And I'm going to make contact with Emma, who is apparently the liaison person of Nutri tank locally, one of the junior doctors, I guess. But let's see. My job here is to use food as medicine. Now, food can be toxin too. So, food is not always medicine, and current food is killing us. All the processed food, all the un unhealthy composition uh, given to us by our parent society, like it's sixty percent carb. That's rubbish. We shouldn't be doing sixty percent carb. I think it should be sixty percent non-starchy vegetable, like hybrid diet. Anyway, but this is pointless unless you know how to cook simple food, and unless you know your spices and herbs tasteless really bad test unless you know that and how to use your oil there are many different types of oils and you need to be a master using these cooking mediums including butter and dark oil and all the stuff there's there is no restriction but you need to know when to use what and how much to use okay so that's it i'm going to head off to hospital soon it's uh, six or five have a great day